What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a hot minute since we've done a good old fashioned healthy Gymshark try on haul. Coming at you today with all new releases. I don't know if you guys saw Gymshark's drop on Wednesday, but they pretty much dropped like I don't know, I lost track really. <laughs> so many different things, more than I even anticipated. Like I genuinely did not know about a few things like that new flex that dropped. What the hell is that about? I mean, brand new sweat that dropped. Like I had no idea about a lot of these new releases. But nevertheless, we are here to cover a whole lot in today's video. We're talking new vital, rest day, flex, and more. But before we do, you know the drill. If you love Gymshark as much as I do, then definitely hit that subscribe button because trust me, we have much more to come. We talk Gymshark here on this channel multiple times a month. We're always covering the new releases, sometimes before the launches. So always good to know and keep up to date. So hit that subscribe button. Measurements will be here as always. I'll also have them in the description box below as well. Everything you see in today's video will also be linked below in case you're interested. And also if you're new to this channel, my code Ashley G does save you 10% off of all your Gymshark orders and it does go towards helping out this channel. Always let me know if you use the code so I can personally thank you. And thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. So if you need any thorough reviews on these collections, check out my Gymshark playlist. We have over a hundred different Gymshark reviews. We have already done in-depth reviews on the Vital and the Fleck and the Rest Day. And Jesus, what else? A lot. I've been getting the most questions on the Vital actually. So let's start with that. You guys know how I feel about Vital, right? I was obsessed with their OG. When they started coming out with new versions of the Vital, I have to admit, not as impressed as the OG did me. So today I have the new pink Vital set. I have the shorts, the sports bra, and the midi tank. Then for leggings, I have the deep teal marl, matching sports bra, and the zip jacket. When it comes to the shorts, First and foremost, I have to say out of everything from Gymshark, I do believe that the Vital shorts look the worst on me. They do not work for me and my body type. They cinch around my thighs a little bit too much. They're just not flattering. They give me a little bit of a uni butt. So I think this was the final test for me with the Vital and I have fully come to the conclusion that I don't believe I'll be really grabbing these shorts anymore. Granted, I do appreciate that these do not roll. Do keep in mind this pink is a bit sheer because it's so light. I'm always gonna gravitate towards the leggings over the shorts, but even the leggings, this material, I don't know, it just doesn't quite work for me. On top of the uni butt, I do feel like this material they use is a little too plasticky, a little too wrinkly in some areas, and it has a stiffness to it that I just can't really get behind. I'm spoiled with other Gymshark collections at this point, so that's why the Vital in me, we're distancing ourselves a bit. Now the bras, I do have to say, I think the bras are pretty flattering. I do like them them more than the OG bras because they add a little more cleavage. I do think they're a little more flattering to wear. I actually love the fact that these are adjustable. I also like the fact that not only are they adjustable, but you can unhook them and style them differently. And they're still low to moderate support. So if you want to wear them to the gym, they do the trick. This type of bra I would wear for upper body day. I actually don't wear it for lower body day because I do a lot of hip thrusts. These plastic pieces definitely pinch into my back when I'm on a bench and I get pretty bruised up. I have the skin sensitivity of an overripe banana. I do have to say I am a fan of the tanks and the long sleeves. I think they did a good job on the midi tank. This is pretty popular actually. It offers some more coverage. It goes right over your sports bra, really looks cohesive with it. And you do have adjustable straps. I think that's key when it comes to tops like this. It grabs in all the right areas and it stays form fit just like the rest of the set. So if you're looking for more coverage, yes, the tanks are great. I also really like the zip tops. I I feel like the high neck offers that real ultra sporty, sophisticated look. I've always been a fan of their long sleeves when it comes to Vital. I just don't feel that stiffness like I do in the leggings and shorts. I feel like there's a little more stretch. So if I'm gonna buy anything from the Vital family, it's gonna be the tops. That doesn't mean the leggings and the shorts are not good quality because they are. And I know a lot of you guys, Vital's your favorite collection, all good. For me, my body shape and what I prefer, I'm just gonna be sticking with the tops for a while. Speaking of of Vital, okay? I don't have the full set, but I do have a long sleeve of the really light green they just launched and the sports bra because I actually matched it with the brand new fleck. Now we're speaking my language. 
Oh, I love you fleck. Yes, I do. I've actually been gravitating towards the fleck the most out of anything. That's over the camo, the animal, you name it. Fleck is my number one nowadays. Guys, I love the Fleck set. It is a little bit thicker. It's overall very comfortable at the gym. And I have to admit, this is one of the most squat proof collections that Gymshark has to date. I know you guys have been going off lately, especially with the Everyday Seamless video about how sheer they are. I get it, especially if you're going to a public gym, but they do a good job on keeping this line really squat proof. So in this light dusk green color, this is the lightest one they launched. Very squat proof. I think it's very pretty. The little fleck design is a lighter green color. Let's, for the love of God, talk about this new halter top, shall we? What on earth do you guys think? Be honest. Comment down below, do you love it or hate this design? I personally love it because I really favor unique style bras. The angle of this bra is great. You're not getting any side boob and it's not falling down when you work out. You do have adjustable straps on the back that really help out in that department. When I first wore this to the gym, I didn't use the adjustments at all. I started to feel it sag ever so slightly and then I tightened it and it was great. I really think the front is very beautiful. It clasps right at the center. It's a circle clasp, goes right over the shoulders. I think it makes the delts pop. Really those shoulder gains are gonna be seen girl I'm telling you that much I felt powerful wearing this bra this style might not be for everybody but for someone like me hell to the yeah they did still release the original fleck bras that double layer bra I have a love-hate relationship with them I think they're nice but they're a little too snug a little too much material sometimes I don't want that much so this style was a nice addition still very low support they also launched a brand new crop top we'll talk about in just a second if you're still not really keen on these new styles this dust green minimal bra is the perfect match to the new fleck I did a mix and match, I love it. So keep that in mind if you are just somebody who's sold on these minimal bras, but you also love the fleck leggings, pair them together. I'm actually wearing another minimal bra in spiced red right now. This just released as well. I haven't been wearing them to the gym. I tried that once, they're too low support for me, but at home, chilling, wearing them under a tank, absolutely. This is in the color Midnight Blue. So it's a very dark navy blue with a tinge of deep purple in it swan hooks you can move it around you can make it a halter there's a lot going with this little thing in fact if you have smaller busts and you're really just trying to perk them up a little bit minimal bras are seriously so good this cobalt blue has gotten so much use already <laughs> I wore it to the gym. I love it. This is a wowie royal blue color. So I have the leggings. I have that really pretty halter top. And I do have the new crop top to go with this set. Now something to note about this top. There's no bra pads. There's no shelf bra. There's no inserts. No option to insert. There's nothing happening here. It really is just a crop top to put over your bra. You gotta wear something underneath. I actually did wear this without a bra on camera just to share with you my thoughts. Yeah, there's no support. <laughs> the material granted is thick enough where if you wanna try that, you could. If you don't have a whole lot to support here, I personally would not. I don't feel that confident and comfortable to wear no bra with this. They've been playing a lot with square necklines and geometric angles with their pieces. Here, you have a lot. So you got that really nice square wide neckline. I think it's flattering with this piece. You also have the cap sleeve. I think a cap sleeve is really nice because there's very minimal material underneath the armpits. I don't like, especially with this thick of material, anything really touching my armpits when I'm trying to work out. So it's breathable in that aspect. So yeah, a cute little addition to the set if you're not a fan of any of those <laughs> but really like that cobalt blue color check out the new bandeau that just dropped this is the same exact color i've always been a fan of the bandeau because you do have the adjustable straps a little more support than what i'm wearing right now let's chat about the sport collection these pieces did not release with the rest of this haul they actually released a few weeks before the haul we have the sport score in the color bright fuchsia and then we have three active dresses same exact thing different colors we have white we have blue and we have black let's start with the skort the skort is the literal same thing as the active dresses 
just a squirt version. It's like they just detach the whole top of it. I use this bright fuchsia in my Barbie reel. You guys remember that? It is a definite Barbie pink here. If you look closely, the contrasted seams and the Gymshark logo are in fact orange. I took the Power Sports Bra in Fuchsia and paired it with this and it looked sick nasty if I do say so myself. Now, there's a few things I love about this skirt and there's a couple things that I'm gonna nitpick. <laughs> as usual. First things first, I love that this isn't too tight. I love that there's a slight looseness to it. It's comfortable, but it's still very flattering. It's still just enough body fit where you can accentuate your curves, but it's not overwhelmingly tight and constricting. I love that it's high-waisted and I'm really digging the length. Sometimes, which you'll see in a little bit, Gymshark comes out with skorts that are a little too short for my taste. This is perfect, the length is so nice. You obviously have the built-in shorts. They do have two mesh side pockets attached. The built-in shorts are very comfortable. They don't cinch in, they don't dig. Very comfortable for all day wear. The one thing I'm gonna nitpick, when I first put these on, because it is a lot of seams actually, it's not a seamless skirt. I did hear quite a few snap right off the bat, just to get around my hips. Wasn't that it was a struggle getting up past my hips, but I needed to snap a few seams to do so. And I really wish that the band didn't have a seam at the top. That's my only thing. It's not the end of the world. It's not like it digs. It's not like it's uncomfortable. I think it's just me being used to no seam. Now I'm just spoiled with it. I don't want a seam at the top of my band. Sue me, but don't really. Onto the bodysuits. Again, you have the same deal, except this is one full piece. You still have the contour seams. They're a little bit different. The blue has a very light blue seam. The black has a light gray and the white has a light gray as well, so they're tonal seams, whereas the skirt had that contrast of orange. I personally think they did a great job on these dresses. I think for my body type and the low support that I need up top, I think they did a stellar job doing just that. You don't have any form of a built-in bra here, so that's why I think it really depends on your body type. If you have a bigger chest, you're gonna need some more support and unfortunately, you might have to wear something underneath this, which kind of defeats the purpose of wearing a one-piece active dress, am I right? There's no shelf bra, you just have a seam. That's it, that separates the bust from the rest of the dress. The good thing about these dresses, they added in inserts where you could put your own bra pads in, which is great. I wore this without a bra pad and I felt fine. I didn't feel like this was too revealing. I think the fact that it's like double, triple layer, there's a lot of material here, I felt comfortable. But if I had larger breasts, I just don't know. There's no adjustments on these dresses. You do have a mesh racer back. So it is very breathable. It's a very lightweight dress. I think it's great for the summertime and it's super cute, same length as the skirt. So not too short, just my taste. I grabbed one of the woven shorts. I don't know what it was about them, but I just knew that I would love them for the summertime, and that I do. But damn, if they're not long as hell. These are grandpa shorts on me. I have short legs as it is. Being it's so long on me, I did roll it. Looked a little bit better. These are so lightweight. There's a slight stretch to this, and it's like that windbreakery material. I do like the fun colors. I think they did a great job on these summer brights. This is like a creamsicle orange, and then you have this draw cord that's that Barbie pink. They did a nice job with that, and you do have two zip zippered pockets, so pretty good quality there. The Gymshark logo is unique here. It's more of a stenciled type of look. And the seams are so minuscule, but they're there and they're hot pink as well. This would make for a really great beach cover up. I have to say, if you're going down to the beach or on a long road trip, pool days, you wanna throw something over, this could totally work for you. Gymshark does a great job at coming out with really unique graphics that are like one-offs. So you got one chance to grab them, if you don't, the Retro Wave t-shirt and the Deadlift t-shirt. Both these graphic t-shirts were from the men's line. Bay actually found it for me. He was browsing for himself and he goes, oh my God, I think you would really like these t-shirts. I looked at them and I said, yes, I do. I need them, go get them, please. There's a lot to love about these graphic tees. Yeah, you can use them as a pump cover. This is my true size small and it's nicely oversized. The back is completely saved by the bell. Okay, I'm a 90s girl. So this just brings me back to uh, Saved by the Bell, man. 
<laughs> Love that show. Some Chuck E. Cheese days, the good old days, okay? They went retro with this and I appreciate that. They came out with different versions. It was like gray with different colors, nothing. And I mean, nothing spoke to me like this one did. The contrast, the pop, it really just, it, it really worked for me. On the front, it does say Gymshark Lifting Club. Okay, really small. I think they did a great job on the comfort level too. This isn't just a 100% cotton t-shirt with a print, here you go. This is a super comfortable stretch to it. I am a self-proclaimed proud Halloweeny. So when Bay brought this one to my attention, I said, um, hell to the yeah. Dead lift, and you got a skeleton over there. Gymshark really playing on my Halloween emotions here. Sharky's Gym, all are welcome. Book now, come along every Thursday. I don't know what that means, I don't care what that means. In the front it does say Deadlift Sharky's Gym. Same exact material as the Retro Wave T, nice and stretchy, just a different print. They also have a female version, which is a midi, but I wanted the very large oversized pump cover fit. Let's talk some crossover. We actually never spoke about the shorts, and I really touched base briefly on the crossover sports bra, but never actually reviewed it fully. So, oh my god. This is in the color Washed Mauve. Let's start with the sports bra. When I first tried on the crossover sports bra, I was in love. I was like, this is so different because if I ever need more support, if I'm actually actively working out and the minimal bra just can't hang, the crossover bra is perfect for that. A lot of Gymshark's high support sports bras always looked funny on me. I didn't have the breasts to fill it out. It looked boxy, stiff, like it just wasn't meant to be. Crossover bra is the first time I'm wearing more of a moderate to high support sports bra where it actually looks pretty flattering. I had two bras, the white and the black that I ordered in my true size small, and I felt like it was just a little too snug. Right around the arms, felt like there was a little too much pressure. So this time around, I ordered up a size to a medium. Lord, am I so thankful I did. I won't go back to a small. So if you're watching this, we have similar measurements size up, these run really snug. And there's no adjustments on the back, so you're kind of stuck with whatever it turns out to be for you. The backing is a full on mesh racer back crossover. I think the crossover collection is unique because every single piece has obviously a crossover design. You still have the stitching in the front that does so. Nice crossover design in the front, V-neck, little mesh paneling right at the cleavage, very small, yet effective elastic band underneath the busts. I'm telling you the coverage and the support is great in this sports bra. I feel so secure. If I'm doing anything high impact or you jump up and down, and the only time I do that is when Gymshark comes out with new releases, then you might wanna consider this bra. I think they did a great job on this. The crossover shorts. Now, I have tried the crossover leggings. I liked them, I thought they were very comfortable, but they did give me a uni butt. The shorts are a little bit better since you don't have that full length kinda bringing down the material. I'm able to play around with the back here and they looked okay. Not scrunch bottom level, but they looked okay. I really like the lay of these shorts. I think they're great. They don't cinch around the thighs. They're very comfortable. They do not roll because the length is there. Now granted, do I think the washed mauve washes me out? Yeah, I do. I don't think this is the color for me. Just gonna say that. But nevertheless, the style is working here. The crossover band, very flattering. It's a very low support short. Again, the one thing I do wish they had was no seam at the top of this band. That's the only thing I really wish they could have done differently. I just feel like it adds a little unnecessary bulk to the piece. Other than that, I think these shorts are really nice and lightweight. I think they're very soft and comfortable. This is something you could wear all day long and be a-okay and the icing on the cake, super duper squat proof. And please don't get it twisted. Lately I've been showing the black briefs for my squat proof demonstration. I know that's a very extreme example, very unrealistic. I don't think anybody, including myself, is ever gonna be wearing black briefs to the gym underneath their leggings, but I do that just in case you have tattoos. But for a better, more realistic approach, just look to the left where I'm wearing a nude seamless thong. That's what I always suggest with any leggings or anything really that you wear to the gym. That would be a more realistic example. We have some crossover flares to discuss. I matched it with the matching crossover over crop top. Let's start with the flares. Now, first and foremost, yeah, you guessed it. They're a little long on me. Good news is they do have two different lengths, regular and a tall. This is the regular. Again, the top of the band has that seam. All right, there, just don't put that seam there. But it's not a seamless set, so you can't totally blame them, right? 
They're tight where it counts, right around the peach. Very flattering, actually. They really do accentuate those curves. But right where it matters, right around your joints, is where they loosen up. The stretchy fabric is awesome. This is the type of sleek fabric where it's not gonna attract pet hair. It's got a very silky to the touch type of feel. Same with the crop top, same material. This is a full coverage crop. The sleeves, they're a little snug, but not too tight and overwhelming. Again, you have the matching crossover band towards the back of this piece, all right? So whereas you have the crossover at the front of the waistband on the flares, they added the crossover towards the back of the piece so it does go up slightly in the middle. Overall, a really comfortable crop top. When it comes to rest day, you can literally give me one of every color and I will wear them religiously. I'm wearing them right now. Those are rest day sweatpants. They came out with a rest day in cozy brown marl. I don't care that this is the color of fall. I'm getting them now. So we have the joggers, a quarter zip, and your traditional regular hoodie. Now these are naturally oversized. I stick with my small. Once upon a time, I sized down to an extra small and I regretted it because I genuinely like that oversized fit and feel. In case you're unfamiliar with the rest day, this does have more of a terry cotton. It's not scratchy or uncomfortable. There is a layer of softness to it, but just know it's not plush. These are thick, durable sweats and I absolutely love them and I wear them every single day. That's no joke. <laughs> it does go all the way up, has a nice mock neck, kind of chokes me out, so I'm never gonna wear it that way. But nevertheless, I love that you can change up the tops. So if I'm going out, I'll wear more of the quarter zip, go to the store. If I'm home snuggling watching Netflix, that's when I'll bring out the full hoodie. I can't wait, dude. This is gonna be my jam come fall time. How about the monogram long sleeve mesh top? What, what on, what on earth right now? So this is a fully see-through because it's 100% mesh, mock neck, long sleeve top. It is monogram, so if you look closely, there's a bunch of GSs just playing around with each other, little squares, little geometric squares they make up. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is super cute. I feel like you could really dress this up, wear a cute little bralette underneath. Uh, when I actually put this on, well, there's a few things. Number one, I was very grateful that it stretches. Second of all, as great as that was, it was easy as heck to put on. This mesh is not comfortable. I mean, I feel like there's sand all over my body and I just wanna wash it off. That is how this felt on my mind. <laughs> After like a minute of wearing it, I was like, all right, you gotta go. You gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah, it, it does. It feels like there's a, a rough textured sand all over your body, unless you love being covered in sand. I, I don't know what to say. Like, what am I supposed to do with this What am I supposed to do with this? It's so, it's so uncomfortable, bro. Now you're just meshing with me. <laughs> you thought that was wild. Let's check out the Contrast Collection. This is their halter bra and it's reversible. If you want a more subtle side, this would be it. Reverse it, it's nearly identical, same exact thing. They even put a logo on the inside. The band is different, where it says Gymshark established 2012, designed in the UK. Now, the thing about these bras, I also have it in green, all right? This one's a little more different. Now you have that dark green on the outside. If you wanna really just turn some heads, spice things up, now you got like this crazy fluo green popping in your face. The thing with these halter bras, they're not adjustable. And on top of that, there's no actual bra pads. There's quite a few layers here. So I felt okay wearing no bra pads. Very comfortable bra. I have to say, because they didn't make these straps super thin, this is a very nice and comfortable bra to wear. It's very sporty. Super low support in case you're wondering. I mean, the only real support you have is the thick elastic band at the underbust. It's a good thing they made these reversible because I know a lot of you would be like, I would have bought this if it wasn't for this text. Well, lucky for you, you don't have to have that text now, do you? I actually matched this bralette with the new black skirt that came out. Now, I will get to the contrast collection in just a second, but I wanted to throw in this skirt because that's how I paired it. This black skirt is on the short side. Do know that, but you do have built-in shorts. No pockets or anything. The shorts are very freaking comfortable. Don't cinch in one bit. Now, you do have a thick elastic band right at the waist. That's the only real cinching in you have, and my true size works perfectly where I don't feel like it's digging into my waist too much. 
which is a big reason why I would not size down. I really like the puffy look of this. This adds to that varsity look. I felt like a damn cheerleader in this skirt, for real. So it's all around pleated, and then you have this layer on top that is just very straightforward and flat that overlays on top of the pleat. If you could get behind its short length, great. It didn't bother me so much this length, but yeah, it is a little bit on the short side, let's face it. Back to the contrast collection. These are called the strappy waistband leggings. When I first saw the brief, I was like, oh my God, these look sick. These are ill, what? Dude. But when I got these in, I was like, oh wow. These actually remind me of men's compression leggings. Bay wears them all the time. It's the same type of material, this slippery, silky look. You do have a very thin elastic band at the waist and then a detached extra band, which has all that text around. So it sits above the waist, right at the hips. It's, it's, it's an ironic design. It's definitely out there. I'm not really sure what this is intended for. If they're going for an aesthetic, I don't think this entirely works. Maybe these would be good for runners at best. I think maybe the extra band will help them stay up. That's my best guess. It's definitely not for peach aesthetic. That's for sure. Cause when I put it on, it was a straight up uni butt. I guess for what I'm used to and how I work out, I don't see myself really utilizing this. Now, because there's this detached band, you obviously will have some skin showing in between. Being mindful, I did notice there's a little bit of cinching. I don't know, I, I would like to snip that band off. There's no way to tuck it in, so you're just kind of stuck with it. You gotta like this text. Maybe go for a run. If you're a runner, you might like these. Other than that, like weight training and things like that, I'm not wearing these to the gym. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> If you're not a fan of all this text and you want something a little more subtle, check out the black version of this and the soft brown color. There's no text on those. The tops are a little bit different though. They're a little more forgiving. These are kind of cute. Again, with the squared off neckline, this is what I'm talking about. They're going ham on that squared neckline. They should have went with the tonal logo. That's all I'm gonna say. With a piece like this where it's pretty loud, this lime green is pretty in your face. I do think they should have at least did a lime green logo or just dark green. They should have made this tonal. Like look how much better that black logo looks when it actually matches the piece. You know, it gives that tonal look. It's still matchy matchy. It blends nicely. Again, there's no support, no padding. You do have another, yet another elastic band. So that's good. It doesn't shift. If you're wearing this to the gym, which you totally could, this is very gym friendly. It's a very slippery, sleek material, stretchy. It will move with you. I think this is super gym friendly. There's just no support. So you gotta wear something underneath. The only thing I wish that these tops had, thumb holes. This wrist right here, now I have small wrists. Don't get it twisted but there's literally no stretch. So maybe add an elastic band here, something that will stretch with you, and some thumb holes, and then we're talking. All right guys, so what are we thinking about all these new Gymshark releases? <laughs> Would you believe that there's even more on the site that I didn't share with you today? When I saw that new flex drop, I said, oh my God, are we bringing back that look with the band? I have to say out of every single thing in today's video, my favorites have to be the new Fleck bras, without a doubt. I really love that halter bra. The new rest day, obviously, because I live and breathe in rest day, but I actually really love the new sport. All right, those active dresses, they're a vibe. This video was more or less just for fun, some girl talk, so I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below your thoughts on all these new releases, which one's your favorite? Stay tuned, we have a ton more coming your way. I really appreciate you guys being here and listening in. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.